Rheinmetall BAE Systems Land RBSL, recently unveiled the first upgraded Challenger 3 tank at the Defense Vehicle Dynamics event in Millbrook, UK. This modernized tank is set to become the world's most formidable main battle tank to serve in the British Armed Forces. The Challenger 3, crafted at RBSL's Telford facility, is part of an ambitious 800 million pound project aimed at upgrading 148 Challenger 2 tanks to this cutting edge standard. Recently, the Challenger 3 has surprised the world. An impressive demonstration showcased the tank's ability to fire remotely without any crew on board. In a presentation by James Cartledge, the British Deputy Minister of Defense responsible for arms purchases, the tank was shown to be capable of firing in the absence of its crew. Detailed information about how the Challenger 3's armament was remotely controlled was not provided, such as the control range and how it manages successive shots given its lack of an autoloader or its effectiveness amidst electronic warfare. Clearly, this demonstration is quite amazing, considering that no tank in the world is capable of firing without a crew. Another standout feature of this upgrade is the new modular armor, co-developed with the Defense Science and Technology Laboratory, DSTL. This armor significantly enhances crew protection and boosts the tank's battlefield survivability. Additional upgrades include a state-of-the-art fire control system and improved mobility, ensuring that the Challenger 3 is a force to be reckoned with by other countries, especially Russia. The Challenger 3 is set to feature a smooth-bore 120mm cannon, enabling the use of more advanced ammunition that is compatible with those used by other NATO allies, including Germany and the United States. Currently, two prototypes have been produced, with six more scheduled for delivery in the upcoming months for further testing. Once testing is successfully completed, which is anticipated to continue through 2025, the production of the remaining 140 units will commence, aiming for delivery to the British Army between 2027 and 2030. Apart from upgrading the Challenger 3 tanks, the British Army is also focusing on modernizing its mechanized force with the Boxer and Ajax armored fighting vehicles. The Ajax serves as a light reconnaissance vehicle, offering mobility and battlefield reconnaissance capabilities. Meanwhile, the Boxer stands out with its modular design, providing flexibility for various missions, ranging from transport to fire support. These advanced combat vehicles are set to become the core of the British Army's future mechanized brigades. With modernized Challenger 3 tanks teaming up with the more nimble Ajax and Boxer, the goal is to create a versatile force that excels in both defensive and offensive scenarios. This lineup aims to leverage cutting-edge technology and integrated control systems, providing the British Army with a significant edge. Unlike the Americans, British Armed Forces battalions aren't being tasked to so many theaters of operation that it outstrips logical usage. The British Armed Forces command apparatus is much more critical of situations where tanks are sent in order to maximize their effectiveness. So, just 148 new Challenger 3 tanks will be enough to meet the British Army's needs. U.S. tank doctrine is driven quite a lot by political forces in Washington, D.C., outside of the military chain of command. The best example of this problem is the United States Marine Corps finally being able to ditch their Abrams tanks after decades of politicians foisting the heavy armor onto the Corps to make defense contractors like General Dynamics, who builds the Abrams, happy. And a happy General Dynamics means lots of jobs and ancillary spending in states that make components for the Abrams. The key to the Challenger 3 redesign was to create something that is somewhat similar to the F-35. The F-35B that the Royal Air Force operates acts as an airborne battlespace information hub, with all the data that the F-35B ingests through its various sensor systems being instantaneously sent to both nearby allies and to command and control infrastructure that could be half a world away via satellite communication links. 
So, by functioning as the extended eyes and ears of British forces in a given theater of operations, the Challenger 3 can bring much more firepower to bear than what it carries on its own. The Challenger 3's 120mm gun will be augmented with both direct artillery fire and bombardment from airborne assets, which is enabled by real-time targeting data shared from the Challenger tank at the battlefield's leading edge. Also, the British Army isn't ditching the Challenger 2 variant anytime soon, especially given the recent expenditures aimed at extending its useful lifespan, which means that the United Kingdom will possess far more tanks than the initial batch of 150-ish Challenger 2s, which are being transformed into the Challenger 3. The UK's main battle tank, the Challenger 2, has been a stalwart in service since the late 1990s. Designed to deliver substantial protection and firepower for British forces, it boasts tough Chobham armor and a 120mm L30 rifled gun. However, compared to the smoothbore guns used by NATO allies like Germany and the US, the L30 is showing its age. Despite its durability and robust protection, the Challenger 2's electronics and ammunition systems are becoming outdated. One key limitation is the tank's electronic fire control system, which is no longer state-of-the-art. Additionally, it's incompatible with advanced munitions used by NATO allies. The tank's rifled projectiles are less effective against modern armored targets than the smoothbore options. Recognizing these shortcomings, the British Army decided to upgrade the Challenger 2 to the Challenger 3 standard. Mobility was another concern. While its V-12 Perkins Condor engine delivered consistent power, the Challenger 2 lagged behind its contemporaries in speed and maneuverability, affecting its battlefield flexibility. Operationally, the Challenger 2 remains functional, but not fully competitive compared to modern tanks from other leading armies. While it has successfully participated in missions like those in Iraq, it has faced a lack of technological upgrades in recent years. This makes it less suited for future conflicts that demand greater mobility and connectivity between combat units. Its navigation and communication systems also fall short when compared to modern digital solutions that enhance battlefield awareness. Despite the Challenger 2's high degree of protection and reliability, it urgently needs modernization. This is why the British Army has initiated the Challenger 3 upgrade program. This upgrade aims to resolve many of the current shortcomings by introducing advanced technology, improved mobility, and enhanced firepower.